Hey guys, Jeff Schneider here. Quick tip today. It's about playing scales, transposing things, all sorts of stuff. Uh, the, the basic tip is to say things out loud instead of just playing it. So the title of this video is Don't Let Your Instrument Boss You Around, or Don't Let the Instrument Be the Boss of You. Basically, you need to be the boss of the instrument. You can't let this thing control you, you have to control it. So this is something I hear a lot of the time when I'm teaching. For instance, I'll say, play me um, a B major scale, and I'll, and I'll hear this. got it, right? So what's happening there? They're playing some wrong notes and they're using their ear to kind of figure out what's right. You know, it's not bad to use your ear. Of course we need to use our ears. But what's happening here that shouldn't be happening is playing the wrong notes. There's no reason to play the wrong notes because if you take a little bit more time to actually think about what they are, usually you'll be able to figure out what they are and then just play it the right time, uh, play it the right way the first time. So one way to ensure that is to not guess. Don't guess what the notes are. Say them out loud. Guessing is when you're pressing down buttons, you know, especially on the saxophone, we really like to press down buttons and just hope for the best. Um, but in order to avoid that, take the saxophone out of your mouth and just say the notes in the B major scale if that's what you're trying to learn. Or anything you're trying to memorize or learn or transpose, say the notes out loud. That way you're not going to have to worry about playing wrong notes. The other thing that happens when you play wrong notes is you learn wrong notes. You, you instill bad habits into your playing. You don't want to do that. You want to play it right the first time whenever possible so that you're always building good habits. Don't practice mistakes, right? That's one of the main things I like to repeat. Don't practice mistakes. Play it right the first time. In order to do that, you say the notes out loud. So you say B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. And then you can go play it the right way. Because there's no question what the notes are. You've just said them. You don't have to guess anymore. So the next time you're trying to memorize a scale or transpose a lick or anything that you're working on and you find yourself guessing the notes, you know, maybe you're trying to um, figure out what it is by ear. A lot of the time you can figure out what the note is, even if you're doing it by ear, without using the, the instrument. Right? If you hear a note and it sounds like Oh, that sounds like the third note in the scale. Well, don't just try to guess the third note. You should be able to tell me what the third note is in the C major scale, for instance. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments. Ask some questions if you, uh, if you have any. Please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching this. Remember, practice out loud, say your letters. You know, it's also a good way to practice when you don't have access to your instrument. If you're traveling, or you're waiting in line for something, you know, say notes out loud mental practice. Then when you go to the in instrument, you play it right the first time and instill the good habits. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jeff Schneider. See you next time.